So what we're going to do this photo is to transform it into a glamour shot. The first thing you need to do is duplicate the layer by dragging the layer to a new layer icon so that you can compare the final photo to your work. Next I'm going to use the clone tool to erase out all the imperfection on the photo. You will need to hold alt or option on the Mac to sample the similar uh, area then paint over the, all the imperfections. When you're done, zoom in and out to see the results. And next, I will adjust the tone of the photo with the curve. Go to the bottom of the layer palette and find the create new fill or adjustment layer and select curve. Look through the channel and you will notice that the green and blue curve has a gap on the right side of the graph so we are going to pull the curve of the green and blue graph over to where the cur uh, graph starts and I was also drag the curve towards the left and watch on the canvas to see the change stop when you're happy with the results next I'm going to correct the color with color balance so again go to the bottom where it says create new fill and adjustment layer and uh, select color balance. I'm going to add some pink to the midtone, some purple to the shadow, and some cyan to the highlights. Play around with the setting until you're happy with the result. Now I'm going to unlock the original layer by double clicking and click OK on the dialog box. Now you can drag it around this layer. So drag it to the very top and then click on the visibility icon on the left side and turn it on and off to see the before and after of what we've done so far okay so now turn off the turn off the original layer so we can start working again next I'm gonna make the photo a little bit softer and darker so to do that um, s select the entire canvas by pressing control command a this will select everything and then go to edit copy merge and then paste it go to the filter and Gaussian blur it at 5 pixel and change the blending mode to multiply so the dark gets darker but then you'll notice it's probably getting a little bit too dark so you can lower the opacity down a little until you're happy with the shade I'm going to um, drag it down to about 25%. And then you can turn off, turn the visibility on and off to see the before and after of this new layer. Now make the now we're going to make the background glow. Select the background with a magic wand tool. And then after you're done selecting it, create a blank layer and fill it with white. Um, go to filter and Gaussian blur it at 10 pixel and lower the opacity down to 70% so you can see um, some of the original background. So the next step is to add some vignette effect. Go to create new fill and adjustment layer and select hue and saturation. Make the whole photo look darker and more saturated. Everything turns darker but we only want the borders to be darker so let's try to fix that you can see that there's a mask icon on the layer and right now it's pure white that means everything is being affected but what we want to do is to affect only the border so what we can do is um, paint the mask area on the face black so that nothing on this area will be affected by the hue and saturation so grab a, a, grab a brush and make sure the color is black and make sure your mask icon is selected and start painting right on the canvas and you notice when you paint it the uh, hue and saturate effect disappears so just go ahead and paint it until you get the effect that you want next we're gonna add some glow to the jewelry create a blank layer and just paint some soft white glow on them. So for the last part we're gonna make the 
entire photo a little bit softer again um, you press control command a to select all and copy merge and paste now blur this layer about three pixels or a little bit higher if you like and then just lower the opacity down to somewhere about around 20 percent now you'll notice her skin is just got softer and smoother and so go to the original layer on the very top turn it back on turn it off and just go do that several times so now you can go to the original layer and turn it on and off to see the before and after of what we've done.